Okay, so this is a really quick tutorial on how to mount wheel lights. What you need are two zip ties and your, your set of wheel lights. Now, you'll notice that there's a on-off switch on the side there. I prefer to mount that on the inside with the switch facing upwards. I find it easier to just reach in and turn that switch on and off. If I have it on the outside, it'll probably be wedged up against one of these spokes and it makes it a little harder to operate. The other thing I do is, when I'm doing the vertical zip tie, I pass it through this one of these small triangles over here. Uh, that way it won't slip out and upwards towards the top of the rim. You don't want any movement on the battery pack, really. I don't have to make it super tight just yet. This one stabilizes it horizontally. And I'll trim off the edges of the pair of wire snippers once I'm done. Okay, so once you've you've got it in place and you you tighten up and you take out the slack, you'll notice that the, uh, the battery pack really doesn't move anywhere. It's in pretty tight. Take your little wire snippers and cut off the excess zip tie. What I do now is I'll wind. You'll notice when you look at the, uh, at the wire here, there's two very distinct types of wire. There is the shielded cable that's much more loose and then you've got this more copper wire type of thing which you can shape and holds its shape. So you start off with all the loose wire that you have and you're going to wind this all the way along the spoke until the very end. So depending on the length of your spoke, this is a 16 inch wheel, you kind of wind it up pretty tight and take up all that slack. You don't want any of that loose insulated wire at the uh, when you reach the rim. So you just keep winding it over and over until you get to the end. So once I get to the end where the the insulated flexible wire joins the more um, the little wire, the thinner wire at the end that holds its shape. I kind of wrap around that end spoke just one time. I always like to keep the lights on when I do this because it kind of gives me an idea of where each LED is and um, also make sure that I don't pull anything out and if I do I learn about it beforehand. Now you want to you want to take up most of the slack, but you don't want to make it super tight because if you do make this gap between the spokes as you, as you wind around super tight, it'll start working its way down the spoke instead of sticking at the end of the rim, which is where you really want it. With the 26 inch wheel, I tend to go around pretty much every spoke. Now, if you have one of those um, custom wheels, the low rider wheels that have a lot more spokes in them, um, it's going to be a little more effort to get your fingers and get the lights through it, but um, with the 26 inch wheel, you pretty much go around every spoke. If you're doing a 700C or a 29er, you probably find yourself skipping to every other wheel, uh, to every other spoke. And with a 24 inch wheel, you might find yourself going around a couple of times every so often. The goal being that when you go all the way around, you have an even distribution of light right up to the end here. And you don't have an overlap of light and you certainly don't want to run out of lights before you get to the uh, full circumference of the wheel. So when I do the wrap around on each spoke, I don't make it super tight, but I take my thumb and forefinger and I, I kind of pinch it tight around the spoke just to have a nice um, firm wrap and, and less room for flex over there. So I just slowly do this and now the rest of it is just rep repetitive. Work my way around the spoke until I get to the end. 
Okay, a little tip here. I, um, once I get it started, once I've got the first few in place, I find myself a little bench seat to sit on. Oh, I've, I've also got the bike upside down sitting on its handlebars so that it's, it's at a nice height. I'm not working off the ground level. And then I, I start working at the bottom so that I don't have wires, you know, dangling from against gravity, but just everything works with me and sits at the bottom here. And so I just work my way around, pinching at each spoke, just like I mentioned before. As you get closer towards the end, if you notice that you're running short on, on LED lights and you think you may not make it all the way, it's perfectly all right to skip a, a spoke here and there. That buys you, you know, a centimeter or two. Um, see, I've skipped one there, I've skipped one there, and, and then I just went back to every, every spoke all the way up to the end. And the last one joins up to kind of where the first one is. So you've got your lights more or less evenly spaced throughout the whole wheel. When it spins at night, you get the nice circle of light effect. 